making room. My new Platanissimo coffee machine was just delivered. Platanissimo. <gasps> Wait, that's personal! Ooh, why so secretive, Daniel? Ah, come on, don't be shy. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Simon Bolak? You were a Simon Bolak fan? Yes, but that was before I knew you. How could you do this to me, Daniel? That imposter's playing on my team, in my position, with my number! But I'm your biggest fan now. That's all that matters, right? Have you been hiding this from me all this time? I need to be alone, Daniel. Get out of my room. Uh, this is my room? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. What can I do for you to forgive me? At Simon Bolak, Erico Platana is the best player of all time. Is that enough? You can do better. Okay. And your nose is huge. <laughs> there. Now everyone knows that I'm an Erico Platana fan. Even Bolak. You happy now? Hmm. No. It'll take more than that to make up for such high treason. Aww. I'm watching you. Ah. <laughs> hmm? Daniel? Daniel Sisu? Huh? Uh, yes? I saw your tweet. It hit me real hard, Daniel. I really miss Erico too. Uh. <laughs> and it's true. My nose is huge. <laughs> awesome room. Man, what a player. It makes us all look like amateurs. A league of his own. <gasps> Traitor! Huh? Inviting my arch enemy over? He showed up all by himself. And he loves you. <laughs> Oh, sure, keep defending him. I can see right through your little game. Come on, I swear, he means nothing to me now. Yeah? Then what's he still doing here? <laughs> Simon just wanted to see where I practice. No, oh, Simon did. It's Simon now. That's just great, Daniel. That's just great. <laughs> oh. <gasps> awesome, Jim. Just awesome! Takes me back to the early days. Who does he think he is? Coach Maple, the work you're doing with these kids? Awesome! Oh? That's the first time anyone's ever said that to me. Hmm. It could be awesome. Ah, uh, Mr. Bolak? Call me Simon, Daniel. No need for formalities between Platona fans. Uh, Simon, I just wanted to say... Shh. It's okay, Daniel. I know why you brought me here, and I think it's a great idea. You do? The great Platona will have his murals soon. Fans will gather here from all over the world. Uh... You can count on me, buddy. We're gonna make the best mural ever. It's gonna be awesome, Daniel. Awesome! Nice one, Daniel. Awesome! It wasn't my fault. It's all Simon's idea. Not my problem, Daniel. It's him or me. <laughs> okay, I'm doing it, but after that, you stop whining, okay? Come on, Hazelnuts. Be expressive and give it your all. Yay! Yay! We shouldn't be afraid to get our hands dirty. Release your creativity, my little hazelnuts. Let your imagination run wild.
You think your new pal's really nice, huh? What about this, then? Is this nice? Hmm? Yeah, that is nice. So where's the problem? Exactly! There isn't one. Seems fishy to me. No one is that nice, Daniel. No one! <sighs> no one! If Eriko saw this, he'd say, No, no one, one can, can paint Platana except, except Picasso, Picasso. And, and he's, he's no, no longer, longer alive. alive. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no one can paint Platana, except Picasso, and he's no longer alive. Hmm? Oh. Think you know Daniel Sisu? Well, behind those pudgy cheeks and big boyish eyes lies a terrible secret. My favorite meal is... Dolphin! I would love to eat some more! Dolphin! You're so cute in all of these photos, Daniel. Awesome. You're just jealous. You know what? Maybe I like Bolak better after all. <gasps> okay, Daniel. I think we've said all we have to say. to lose your best friend. Not cool, Erico! We made the mural for you! All of this has been for you! Fine! Go on! Go run it back to Bolak! It's so majestic, Hazelnuts. You've got paint running through your veins. Awesome! Such a great job! Erico would be proud. What a nice fly a Garrick specimen. Oh, hi there, Daniel. Oh. What are you doing? I know when I'm not wanted, Daniel. Wait! Sure, Bolak is super nice. And yeah, we have lots in common. But that's no reason for you to pack your bags! Too late, Daniel. I hope you'll be happy with Bolak. Hey, is that Mr. Tickle? <laughs> <laughs> It's over. Farewell. Give me back, Mr. Tickle. Bolak's leaving tomorrow, you know, right after the press conference for the mural. Press conference? Press conference. Okay, I'll stay. Nice of you to be here, Erico. Well, the Great Platana can also forgive. That's what I admire about you. How did you ever prefer Bolak over me? I've always been the star player. Back then, I thought you liked to show off too much. Until the match when everything changed. the day I realized that you weren't big-headed and that you have a heart of gold. Yeah! Mm. Ooh, well, that was close. Ah, uh, <laughs> the guy with the heart of gold, that's me! <laughs> You're the football player of my life, Erico! I might have been a little hard on Bolak. It's okay, I forgive you. Thank you all for coming. Before we begin, I'd like to call a very special boy to the stage. Daniel, hmm? would you please join me? Don't be shy. Oh no, Daniel! Awesome! Erico! What? He seems to like it, right? 
Eric Oplatana is honored to have Simon Bolak playing in his position with his number. Hashtag Bolak is the best. Happy now? You could do better. Thanks, Erico. We shared so many awesome times. Hashtag awesome. Oh, no. What is that picture? Hey! Don't you dare like that! No one ever saw the hook again. But they say that he's still out there, somewhere, waiting for his next victim. Oh, no! And he always chooses a child named... Not Daniel, not Daniel, not Daniel! Daniel! Oh, no! That's my name! Some have said that he found work as... A bus driver! <laughs> That's not funny, Erico. Mr. Clump has a hook, but he's nice. That's right. No, oh, come on. I was just pulling your leg. If you keep doing that, I'll never believe a word you say. Jamea, put that gold down! Maya, there's mud all over your shoes. Larry, no unicycling inside. Ow! It marks the floor! See you later, Erico. Hey, guys! Hmm. Hmm? What's up, guys? Marcus? How you doing, girl? All good, Ping? So, uh, Robbie couldn't make it? What? He's missing? Since when? Robbie! Robbie! Robbie? Robbie! Who did this to you? Stay with me, Robbie! Stay with me! Come on! Come on! Hang in there, Robbie! Think of your wife and kids! <laughs> Robbie! Just a second, kids. Hmm? Ah, that's better. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel! Daniel! It's terrible! That's just an old deflated ball. That's Robbie! He was like a brother to me. Maybe he just went flat on his own. Robbie would never do that. He was full of life. Oh, we went through so much together. This was murder, Daniel! <laughs> murder! Hey, you're just trying to scare me again, aren't you? No! This time it's all true, I swear! Erico? Don't believe me? I've got witnesses! <laughs> They've all disappeared! Uh, there's no one here. Like I said, they disappeared! But who? Marcus! Valerie! Ping! You named all the balls in the gym? No! Well, yes. That's beside the point, Daniel. Someone has kidnapped them! Erico? Someone is going after the balls in the gym, which means there's a... Ball deflator! A deflator. Hmm. Okay, you animals. Time to hit the showers. See you tomorrow, Daniel. We have to find the deflator. You want me to be the next victim? Knock it off, Erico. <gasps> I know you're making this up. You think I would lie to you? Wait! If you won't help me, maybe Detective McDaniels will. I don't know. He's pretty busy. I'd be surprised if he could. Even if I had his trench coat and his hat. And his magnifying glass.
Detective McDaniels, did you call for my help? I'm working on a lot of cases right now, but for a friend of Daniel, I'll see what I can do. Okay, thank you, Detective McDaniels. Can we go now? Hmm. Two minutes on the case and still no leads. The investigation is going nowhere. <laughs> what are we doing in Maple's office again? Oh, Daniel, a vegetarian in sandals with a ponytail? He's obviously deranged. Maple can't be the deflator. He won't even harm a mosquito. Easy, little gluttons. Aha! Marcus's beret. You tell me that's not evidence of something. Maple's always had a weird fashion sense. And he does love his hats. Fair trade and trendy. What more do you need, Daniel? You want me to be the next victim? Is that it? Sorry, Erico, but I just don't think it's him. Get up, get up, get up. Snack time! Go on, McDaniels. Have your milk and cookies. Who needs ya? See what I think of your card, McDumdum. <laughs> Oh, it's just you, Maple. You scared me. I scared you? <laughs> Why would you be scared of me? No reason for that. For being scared of me. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Maple! <laughs> See you tomorrow. Marcus? Valerie? Ping? Here, guys. What do you want on your waffle, sweetie? Maple syrup? Maple? Yeah! A vegetarian in sandals? I scared you? <laughs> I just love maple honey. Maple syrup? Maple? Maple. 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 Erica was right! Maple's the deflator! <laughs> Oh, my head. Where am I? <laughs> Marcus? Valerie? Bing! Who did this to you? I'm sorry you'd had to come to this, kids. But you leave me no choice. Maya, Maya. How many times have I told you not to scream in the plastic cones? This isn't all fun and games for me, you know. This hurts me more than anyone. <gasps> and you, Larry. My knees are shot from cleaning up your unicycle tracks. <gasps> and as for you... <laughs> I'm such a scatterbrain. <laughs> And as for you, Daniel, we don't play with switches. I know you're the one who made a mess in my office. Nobody move! Ah! McDaniels to the rescue! You better start talking or else! I confess to everything. I live in the gym, and I'm the one who's been deflating the balls! I don't know what's wrong with me these days. <laughs> I'm full of rage and negative energy. Can I see the box for your herbal tea? This 
This is an herbal tea. This is super energizing tea! That's why I was so cranky. I should have known something was up. Thanks, Daniel. You're welcome, Maple. We all make mistakes. And we all get worked up from time to time, too. <laughs> you got that right. But seriously, stop playing with the switches. <laughs> we'll miss you, Robbie. Rest in peace, old friend. Another case solved by Detective McDaniels. I can't believe you let Maple off the hook. Maple was just another victim in this sordid affair, Erico. Hey, nice trench coat, Daniel. Don't worry, Erico. Crime may never sleep, but neither does McDaniels. are a player's badge of honor. Here, look. You know why I sink like a rock in the pool? No. Titanium knees. And you know why I beep at the airport? No. Titanium ribs. And haven't you ever seen the scar on my back? No! Believe me, Daniel. Nobody cares about your precious shin guards. Kids, we have a visitor today. Just pretend I'm not here. <laughs> We're having a safety inspection by the city, so let's be extra careful now, hazelnuts. Not to blow my own horn, but we've come a long way on safety. I'm open! I'm open! Hmm? Okay, that'll do. So how'd we do? Ten out of ten? In only ten minutes, you committed 137 safety infractions. Dangerous tackling. <gasps> Excessive noise. <laughs> no shin guards. <gasps> Turf. Cracks. Vegetables, shaving cream, and the fire extinguishers. The Hazelnuts Club is officially... No! Closed. <laughs> Please, Mr. Safety Man, don't shut our club down. We'll do anything you want. Your determination inspires me. What's your name, little one? D Daniel Sisu. Daniel Sisu, here is the boxed set of oh. safety and prevention. If I see tangible improvement on my next inspection, I'll rescind my decision. Security lesson number one. Oh, Dread! My snack! <laughs> dread and double Dread. At least I still have one good hand. That's why we always have snack time after practice. Mm-hmm. Now oh, come on. I didn't have all these rules and I'm perfectly fine. Hmm? I don't know. It looks like ex-footballers have all sorts of problems. Hearing loss, mood swings, memory loss. What? Baloney! <laughs> I'm all right. What are we talking about again? F football damaged me? No. Did it? No. Football has betrayed me, Daniel. My body's in ruins. You've got to save those children, Daniel. Don't let them end up like me.
More safety. More safety. Maximum safety. No way are we letting him shut us down. We'll show the inspector how safe we can be. Yeah! Over here! No sudden movements. Mm -hmm. Over here! Too loud. Mm. Over here! Wait. I'm wondering about the ball. Look, Daniel, I know... Shh. Daniel, I know you're trying to make things better, but I think we're going a little overboard. Hmm? <laughs> and that's why you should always play with a well-inflated ball. What were you saying about the ball? <laughs> Over here. <gasps> this is perfect, Erico. No contact, no risk. We've saved football, Daniel. Look out, a huge bumblebee. No sudden movements, there is nothing to be afraid of. I'll be okay, kids. Don't worry. We failed, Erico. We did our best, but danger's all around us. <laughs> hmm? Hi, Daniel. Hello. <sighs> Ah, good doggy. <laughs> Hi there, little guy. You okay, Erico? You seem tense. Who? Me? Tense? <laughs> Erico, you home? <gasps> wow! Yep, check out my titanium sealed reinforced silicone housing. Awesome, Erico! <gasps> hey, I know how to save the hazelnuts! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I did it! Let's go, Plutana! Welcome to the team. You're fired! Great game, Plutana! World champion! Erico! <laughs> You're my best friend, Erico! Wow. <laughs> Perfect! Color me impressed, Daniel Sisu. Complete protection. Bold move. Just a hundred old sweaters. Did anyone just hear a titanium sealed reinforced silicone ball crashing into aluminum garbage cans? Hmm? No. Uh, will you excuse me for a moment? <laughs> Erico! Are you okay? I saw my whole life flash before my eyes, Daniel. It was awesome! But it made me realize something. Huh? You can't be a winner by staying in your shell. In life, you have to be able to take risks. Hmm? <laughs> Remarkable, Daniel Sisu. Hold it! Safety is important, and so is taking care of our health. But if we can't have fun, it isn't football anymore. Uh. Uh.
disappointing, Daniel Sisu. Hmm? A tear? Watch your fingers, Hassan! Fasten your seatbelt! Don't touch that! Don't go near the edge! Look carefully before you cross! <laughs> hmm? Mr. Safety Man? This inspection is cancelled. You've saved your club and opened my eyes. You can keep the jacket. Time for me to follow my dream, to become an extreme sports athlete. Thank you, Daniel Sisu. Oh, that's the coolest guy I ever met. Ha! <laughs> After you, of course. To live your life to the fullest, sometimes you've got to take chances. Ouch. No kids, no way around it. No practice today. Oh. That stupid rain. <laughs> Why? Do something. We can't be stopped. <laughs> We can't be stopped by a tiny, a tiny bit of rain, right? Wait! <clears throat> Every year is the same thing. Every year the roof leaks, and as a result, Maple calls off practice. Yeah, just like every year. That's right. But this time, we're gonna raise money to fix the roof! Huh? Uh, we already tried that last year with calendars, but we only sold five. Find another idea. We're going to record an album. Yay! Hmm. That's not a bad idea. We're going to record the Hazelnut album. Not to brag, but I know a thing or two about music. All right. Auditions in five minutes. Yay! Next. I can't. I can't. I can't. What's wrong, Daniel? Stage fright? I can't sing in front of people! My voice, it's really bad. No, oh, it can't be that bad. Go on, sing something. <clears throat> Stop! Okay, it is that bad. I told you so. I'm gonna ruin the album. <laughs> Don't worry, little buddy. I know what to do. I'll sing. You can lip sync. Oh, yeah! How could I have forgotten that you're also a great singer? I even have your album. Yep, they're collector's albums, you know. I, uh, only sold five. <laughs> that was too far ahead of my time, but that's about to change. A real artist can feel these things. Whenever you're ready, Daniel. Just a sec. <laughs> that was beautiful, Daniel. Beautiful. It's the miracle I've been waiting for, for so long. I wasn't always a football coach. There was a time when I sang to stop pollution, to stop us going to war. I was a rising star in world music. That was a long time ago. But your voice, Daniel, your voice is a gift from above. With it, we won't be just saving the gym. We'll be saving the world. Get ready, hazelnuts. Things are about to go platinum. Mm. Ah! 
And that's a wrap. Great work, Hazelnuts. But we didn't even sing. Mm -hmm. Our turn now, Daniel. Time is money and we don't have any. <laughs> Great job, Daniel. It's really moving, but you're lagging just a bit. Oh, uh, sorry. Lagging? It's his music that's ahead. No biggie. Let's take it from the top. And go, Daniel! Stop! You're really not far off, but I think you can do better. Hey, who does he think he is, Mozart? No one tells Patara to sing. No one. Erica, wait! Uh, take five. Calm down, Erico. Maple is demanding, but it's for the sake of the album. I'm a high-performance sports car, okay? When you lift the hood, you wear gloves. You know, I get it if you're afraid to fail. Fail? In your dreams. Come on, let's go back in there. Stop! You're singing in B flat there, Daniel. I need you to give it 200%. What? I will show you 200%. the one. Now I know it, Daniel. Your voice is the real thing. Let me tell you a story. After my first album, which went triple platinum, I went off in search of a new sound. I was looking for the note of pure love. Mother Nature's heartfelt call. It was in that forgotten monastery that I found it. The Forbidden Octave. Forbidden Octave I used the score from my album. I thought I was good enough to sing it, but I was wrong. Daniel. But you can do it. I truly believe you can reach the forbidden octave and change the world. <laughs> greatest footballer and the greatest singer that's not what i said at all thanks daniel i believe in me too don't do it erico look the notes on this scroll form the shape of a skull look it's smiling at me okay daniel you ready ready maple I don't know if I can reach the Forbidden Octave. No pressure, Daniel. It's just the future of humanity, after all. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mr. Monks, please make sure that Erico doesn't hurt himself singing. Hmm? Now!
I'm sorry, Eriko, but I had to stop you. What? My ears are still ringing. I can't hear. Oh, let me guess. You're apologizing for ruining my album with your terrible voice. <laughs> <laughs> We heard your call, my child. <laughs> oh, dang it. We're too late. You, Butchin! You stole our sacred song for your own glory. It's true. Wrapped up in my pride, I forgot the true meaning of music. I put you through unreasonable risk, Daniel. <laughs> what have I become? I should have listened to you, Daniel. I'm sorry, Daniel! <laughs> Please, take this. It belongs to you, Mr. Monks. You are wise beyond your years, duck-voiced child. Forbidden octave! No kids, no way around it. I have to apologize. It's all my fault that the album flopped. Aww. Wait! It's true that our CD is lame, but it must be good for something. Hmm. Hmm. Great idea, Daniel. It doesn't look like you'll be making a singing comeback, Eriko. Don't worry, Daniel. I learned something much more important today. That my first album was already perfect! <laughs> for football fans everywhere as Simon Bolak prepares to receive the World Sportsmanship Prize for an Immaculate Career. The Foundation is proud to award this special prize to Simon Bolak, the gentleman of the pitch, for his exemplary playing career. Not a single foul, not one misstep. Wow! That's the time he switched teams at halftime to help the other side pull even. What? A gentleman. It's easy to not commit fouls if you don't play hard. Come on, Eriko. Bolak was also the best striker in the championship. Not to mention his modeling career and being spokesperson for the Smiles for Orphans charity. I hate that guy. <laughs> Why are we painting you gold again? So I can be the trophy. <laughs> Is this like a prank? Yeah, a really good one. <laughs> Wait till I get on stage. Then I'll ruin Mr. Perfect's perfect career. Wait, what? But that's so mean. <laughs> Showtime. Erico! No! <laughs> This is huge! Thanks! Short but sweet, from a player who's just as sweet. Oh, come on! I didn't get a chance to say anything! <laughs> I thought he would never leave. <laughs> Think, Platana. Think! There's gotta be a way out of here. Hello, Mr. Bolak. I wanted to ask you for an interview for my magazine. Uh, great. What magazine? Daniel Magazine. This is huge. Daniel's come to my rescue. I'm getting out of here. Hmm. If you were a tropical fish, which one would you be? Hmm. Oh, no. What on earth is he doing? I've never thought about it, but... Sorry, where were we? As I was saying... Oh, well... Oh. Hello? It's for you. Hey, it's Platana. Remember me? Your friend who's still locked in the display case! Uh, yeah, of course. I didn't forget. <laughs> Drop the interview and get me out of here! 
All good? Uh, yeah. Uh, can I please have a glass of water? One glass of water coming up. <gasps> oh, no. It's locked. Look for the keys. He put them down somewhere. <laughs> wow. You find them? It's a plate with Simon's face on it. Focus, Daniel. Focus. One glass <laughs> of water. Duh, my commemorative plate. Oops, sorry. Uh, is this tap water? Do you have any sparkling water instead? <sighs> One sparkling water coming up. Hurry what? up! Okay. Whoa! There's a whole Simon Bolak dining set in here. Not now, Daniel. Dinner plates, soup plates, teacups, coffee cups, saucers, egg cups, milk jug. There's even a sugar bowl. That's not gonna unlock this door. One sparkling water. Oh no! My dinner plates, my soup plates, my teacups, my egg cups, my milk jug. Even my sugar bowl. Uh, I'm really sorry. Also, could I get some cookies with my sparkling water? <sighs> cookies coming up. Just please don't touch anything else. Anything. I won't, I promise. <laughs> sorry! Do you have a broom in the closet? No, not the closet. No one touches. The Forbidden Closet! Huh? Hmm. Uh, I'll go get your cookies. Got it! Finally! Come on, let's go! <laughs> hmm, wait a sec. Don't you want to know what's in the Forbidden Closet? But Simon said we shouldn't touch it. It would be really rude of us. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Silly me. It would be really rude of us. Everyone has the right to keep a few little secrets. Ha <laughs> ha, bingo. There it go. No! No! Huh? A memory stick? This is wrong, Eriko. You shouldn't rummage through other people's stuff. Are you a journalist or not? This is a great scoop for your magazine. Hmm. It's one of Simon Bolak's old matches. Why is he hiding it in a closet? Hey, wait a second. Simon, Simon Bolak, Bolak committed a foul? Impossible! He's never committed a foul. <laughs> In your face, Mr. Perfect! I knew his nice guy act was too good to be true. Just wait till I post this online. His career is over. No, Erico! You can't do that! You know what? You're right. What was I thinking? I gotta film his reaction when he finds out! Hmm. Say goodbye to your career, Mr. Perfect. Daniel's a nice kid, but unfortunately, he's trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, my trophy? What are you doing here? And you can talk? Uh, no. Okay, fine, I can talk. But it's because, uh... I'm your conscience. This is huge! And then he dropped the saucers on top of the sugar bowl, and I really thought I was going to lose it. So, Mr. Perfect, not always so even-keeled, are you? I never lose my control, but this kid, he's both super annoying and super... <laughs> Adorable. Exactly. Sometimes I get the feeling my whole career is a lie. Me too. I mean, about your career, that is. At first, you're scared of going onto the field. But once you're out there, there's only one thing you're scared of. Getting benched. Hmm? Ah, sounds like cookies are ready. This talk has done me a world of good. We should do this more often. Love to. Ooh. 
love to. And cookies. Shall we wrap this interview up? <laughs> Eventually. No, wait, it's not what you think! You know what, Daniel? I'm done with lying. Show people this video. Show the world! No! Everyone makes mistakes. You can't throw your whole career away over one silly little foul. I can't live with the secret anymore. It's too heavy of a burden to bear. Football needs you. Kids look up to you. I have to free myself from this lie. The world has to know. Think of your fans. Think of the kids. Stop! That's enough, both of you. I have to show you something. You weren't the one to bring him down, Mr. Bolak. Someone threw a shoe at him. There's the culprit. At the time, you were on the same team as Erico Platana. Oh, yeah, I've forgotten all about that. So that means... I've never committed a foul? Platana, you old bum. You're still the greatest sportsman in the world. Erico had been planning his trick for a long time. Oh, I remember now. He criticized my hairstyle. And to think that for all these years, I thought I was a monster. When in fact, the monster was Erico, not you. You guys at Daniel Magazine are pretty sharp. What a scoop. Puh, scoop. So, are you pals with Simon now? Whoa, 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 take it easy. I just might hate him a bit less. We realize we've got a few things in common. Things that drive us both crazy. Can you please stop with the pen? Don't miss the next issue of Daniel Magazine with all your favorite sections. Snoop McDaniel's Case Files, Madam Daniel's Horoscope, the Witch Daniel or You Quiz, Grandma Daniel's Recipes. So what? So Bada Boom sees that it's getting late and that he has to go to work early tomorrow morning. <gasps> oh no! Bada Boom always does that just before bedtime. Heroes need their sleep, too. Have you got Mr. Tickles? Mm-hmm. Your water? Mm-hmm. Your kiss? Mm-mm. Mwah. Good night, sweetie. A little more? A little less? That's it. Good night, Mom. A little more? Mm -hmm. A little less? Hey, that's not nice, Erico. Life isn't nice, Daniel. Aren't you tired of being such a baby? I am not a baby. You sleep in a onesie. They're very comfortable. How am I going to get my body back if you're still tied to your mother's apron strings? Let's talk about it tomorrow, okay, Erico? It's Betty by time. <laughs> Sorry, Daniel, but you leave me no choice. What? Erico? What am I doing outside? What's going on? It's time for you to become a man. That's what's going on. What? And there's nothing like a little wilderness experience to make a real man out of ya. You can't leave me out here in my pajamas. Real men don't need pants. But I don't have any food. Real men hunt for food. But you're eating my cereal. And I know it's hard to believe, but it's for your own good. Mm -hmm. You can do it. It's just you and me now, Mr. Tickles. We'll have to fend for ourselves until Mom gets home. <laughs> but we'll never make it without food. Hmm. Huh? Seeds! It's 
It's like cereal for birds. Good thinking, Mr. Tickles. That's what I call a manly yell. That's a spirit, Daniel! <laughs> Don't move, Mr. Tickles. Hey! Come back here, you thief! So, what's on TV? TV! What are you, hard of hearing? I said, TV! Daniel! TV! Daniel! That kid is never around when you need him. Okay, try to look more appetizing, Mr. Tickles. That raccoon won't capture itself. Well done, Mr. Tickles. Hey, Daniel! Hmm? How do you turn on the TV? With the remote. How did you do it before? Lights, TV, toilet. Ah, so that's why. Multiple traps. Nice work, Mr. Tickles. Now, huh? Daniel! Food! This is Mr. Tickles, and I'm Daniel. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. I have to do everything myself around here. <laughs> Carrots? No thanks. Green beans? Yeah, all right. Broccoli? Seriously? <laughs> ah, finally. Food. Daniel, what's up with this pizza? It's all cold and hard. Well, it's frozen, Erico. Oh, okay, Iron Chef. So what do I do with it? Well, put it in the oven. Ah. Uh -huh. In the bathroom? No, the kitchen. Are you sure you don't want me to help you, Erico? Ha! You help me? I'm a man, Daniel. Real men don't need help. Wow, what is that? This is Rascal, my new pal. He taught me to clean myself, to mark my territory, and now we're going hunting! It's Frozen Erico. You want me to help you, Erico? <laughs> Who needs help? I'm a man. So, the oven. Come on, Platana. You're a superstar. Nobody needs to tell you what an oven is, right? That one. Ha <laughs> ha! Easy peasy. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. What am I gonna do with you? <laughs> Oven! Oh no! Daniel! Ah! That kid is never around when you need him! <laughs> 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 
Come on, Platana. Real men always manage on their own. Daniel! Daniel! Okay, all hmm? right. I can't cook or turn on a TV or a light. Don't wash my clothes. Sort my trash. No, oh, or change a tire. It's good to know how to get by on your own, but knowing how to ask for help when you need it is important as well. I am so glad that you said that, Daniel. Because you're going to need some help to clean up the living room. Hmm? Us? Us? I'm just a ball, remember? Mm -hmm. Wow! Look, Erico! Rascal came back with friends to help! We're saved! Wait, are you sure? Okay, everyone! We've got to fix everything up before Mom gets home! There comes a time when a man must take responsibility for his actions. Or find someone else to take the fall. Eh? What? No, we can't do that to Rascal. No. No. To think that they forced the French window open with a plastic spade. You were so brave, sweetie. Pizza and cartoons tonight, okay? Mwah. We had no choice, Daniel. Sometimes a man has to cover his tracks. I think I'd rather stay a kid a bit longer, Erico. Door! Door! You have to turn the doorknob, Erico. Hang in there, buddy. I'm gonna get you out of there. I've got you a great lawyer. <laughs> cast my head for the trophy. The nominees are Martinelli, also known as the Field Thug, Williams, the Kneecapper. They're all gangsters? Hey, easy with the labels. And last but not least, Gerald Sorbier, a.k.a. the Gangster. He just recently got out of prison. But, Erico, your award is for the dirtiest players in the game. Whatever. People are talking about me. But how let your name be associated with that. Believe me, Daniel, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Hmm. Daniel, what's all that? Don't tell me you're still a fan of Platana. He stands for the worst things in football. Dirty play. Cheating. Not cool. Hmm. Uh, no, not at all. No, wait! It's not what you think! Awkward! Disappointing, Daniel. Hmm. <laughs> I'm open! Over here! Over here! Hmm. Ah. Uh. Goal! Hmm. Who's the best now, ifs or buts? We are, we are! My 
Maya? Awesome. Great assist, Timea. Daniel, we need to talk. You know that everyone is welcome on this team, but this Platana thing of yours is upsetting the balance of the group. But I'm still on the team, right? Mm. Daniel, come here! They're talking about me on TV! Ooh, he did a nasty platana on him. That is not the sportsmanship we like to see. I'm not even playing and they're still talking about me. Awesome, right? Daniel? What are you doing? I'm sorry, Eriko. You'll always be my friend, but you can't be my hero anymore. What? I'm not good enough for you anymore, is that it? Not my hairstyling head! That's collectible! I've been kicked off the hazelnuts because of you. They don't want me on the team anymore. Wait, you've been kicked off the team? How are you gonna practice? How am I gonna get my body back? Uh, okay. Maybe it's time to improve my reputation. Don't worry, Eriko. You'll still be famous, but for the right reasons. This is people's reaction when they hear your name. And this is how we want them to react. Hmm. And how do we do that? So, here's the plan, Eriko. You know what people really like? Ah, uh, money? Dogs! You could adopt one, and I'll teach it how to shake hands, roll over, and fetch the paper. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. But it's a great idea. People love dogs. And people love people who love dogs. <laughs> okay, animals. I get it. But we'll do it my way. Platana style. What you're hearing is a distress call of the last humpback whale. The already endangered mammal was poisoned while in captivity in footballer Erico Platana's swimming pool. <laughs> Such cruelty sets a new low for Platana, whose insensitivity borders on the incredible. How was I supposed to know they can't take chlorine? Well, the good news is that at least everyone is talking about me again. We have to improve your reputation. This is a disaster. Maybe I could take the whale skiing or shopping. Hmm. You know what people like even more than dogs, Eriko? Ah, uh, money? No, clowns! You want me to adopt a clown? Better than that! <laughs> we'll hire clowns to put smiles back on people's faces. <laughs> okay, clowns. I get it. But we'll do it my way. Latana style. Eriko, I'm not so sure about that. Hello! Ah, what is wrong with you? Hello! Ah, oh, come on! And then I told John, count me out for the Manafort case. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Oh, come on! It's not funny, man. It's not funny. Nuisance complaints are flowing in about the clowns working for Erico Platana. Platana, currently the nation's most hated celebrity, has another scandal on his hands. This isn't going well at all, Erico. But there's one thing that people like even more than dogs and clowns. Ah, uh, money? No! Clown dogs? No! Hmm? Hey! No! Apologies, Eriko. They like apologies. Okay, apologies. I get it, but we'll do it my way. No, Eriko, please don't! Platana style. The so-called apologies made by Eriko Platana have disgusted people worldwide, sparking international protests and, in some cases, riots. Ugh, what a terrible, terrible human being. Hurricane Platana is still ravaging the coast, causing significant... Oh, 
Oh, yuck. I stepped in Platana. <laughs> <laughs> I a bad person. Uh, don't worry, Eriko. In a couple of weeks' time, everyone will have forgotten about it. <laughs> Eriko, I've been thinking about that whole clown dog business. It's over, Daniel. My career is finished. A couple of clown dogs won't change that. Say that? It's not over yet! Oh, yeah. Look what comes up when I do an internet search of Platana. <laughs> Look at me. I'm finished. I may as well take up tennis. There it go. What is that? It's my old blankie. It comforts me when I feel down. Also serves as a bib. Madonna style! Hmm. Oh, it feels like a bib that's also giving me a hug. This is great, Eriko! Yeah, it's fantastic. Eriko, that's just what we need! Yeah, a washed up football who can't get off the couch. Yes, that and your snuggle blankie. That's what we have to show people. The truth. That even superstars can feel lonely, sad, like losers. Hey, enough! You want people to pity me now? I'll be a laughingstock. Not a laughingstock, Eriko. A human. <laughs> uh, Platana style? No, Eriko. Snuggle blanky style. Some days you feel great. You just want to grab life with both hands. But sometimes, you're not at your best. At times like these, you can always count on your Platana. So when you're down and feeling cranky, pull on your Platana Blankie. It may not be chic nor elegant, and some may not want to admit it, but the Platana has managed to find a way into people's hearts. More than a blanket or a garment, the Platana is a new way of life. In a high-speed, ever harsher and relentless world, the Platana is here to remind us that everyone deserves a little tenderness. It's great to see you again, Daniel. You were right about Platana. All in all, he's not such a bad apple. You're right, Daniel. I've never been so famous. And look, people love me. Hey, that's great, Eriko! Maybe in the future, the Platana Snuggle Blankie will be even more famous than you. <laughs> in your dreams, Daniel. And to wrap up our visit, you can see here the very first Platana. The original garment was named after its inventor, Eriko Platana, who also played a ritual game called football. Dad, what's football? 